Potato. Easy play. Anytime. Stop. Nada. Much. Slayer Boxer. C. Bisu. Savior. 16 of the most powerful StarCraft gamers in the world. LG. Intel Centrino. Dom TV. Star Imitation. Welcome back. The final game of Group A. The two players who are on top. Who is going to prove themselves to be the best player in Group A? Mind or Flash? Again, this is the GOM TV StarCraft Invitational. 16 of the best StarCraft players of all time, obviously all Koreans, have been invited down here to battle it out. Wise decision by GOM TV. This is one of the first... Actually, this is the first major StarCraft tournament where all games will be broadcasted in English. That's very exciting. I just talked to one of the heads of GOM. They said there's a lot of people tuned in. They're really uh, pleased with the feedback. I hope you guys are all posting on the forums. The tournament has just turned out to be really interesting. The two players that I actually predicted um, to get out of my group, or get out of this group, are were the two that actually lost. All the games were very close, of course, but uh, it turns out that Flash and Mind... Um, were the players that turned out to be victorious. At this point in time, Flash is 2-0. And um, Mind did lose to Savior. But, you know, it's going to be up to this game to see, you know, if there's going to be any type of ties or anything like that. If uh, Flash wins this, he's hands down out of the group, though. The map, um, and gosh, I, you know, I'm sorry, I'm just going to try to pronounce it as it says on this piece of paper. I'm not even sure if it's spelled right, but Peck. Pekma Goji. Um, this is one of those maps where they only have it written in Korean. So, I don't know. It's not one of the maps that they use in foreigner tournaments. It's a map I'm actually not entirely familiar with, but I'm more than happy to cast on it. It's proved to make for some very interesting games. As we can see, Mind is 1 1, Flash is 2 0. Oh. If Mind loses, it's a three way tie at the bottom. If Flash wins, well, I mean, if Flash uh, loses, then uh, well, it'll be 2-1, so we'd have the two players who are in the top two of the group. It's going to be very interesting. I'm excited. And I'm sure you are, too. Cheers to everybody around the world who's tuned in. The tournament's turned out to be a, quite a success uh, in Korea and outside of Korea. All the players have been practicing a lot for this. Unfortunately, it looks like there's a, it's pretty much impossible for Savior... Uh, or any time to get out of the group, out, out of their groups. Those are probably the two more, um, the, the two older and more pronounced players um, that were actually in the group. So it's very surprising to see that it was the two newer ones that managed to come back and come out on top of this. It's interesting to see how StarCraft is a game that's constantly evolving. Um, it's not like there's one guy who's like, well, I figured it out, and now I'm going to be number one for a while. It's too competitive. That's just not how it works here. All these players train so hard. People are finding out new secrets all the time. And uh, we're going to find out who these two good players are, who's the better one, in just a second here. It's interesting. They actually figured out a new bug with Larva and how to make them move uh, by grabbing them with an overlord and spamming hold position. They just figured that out, um, I believe, a few weeks ago. So, I mean, there's new secrets they're figuring out in the game all the time, new tricks. Um, and there's always more for the players to master. They're coming out with new maps constantly. New, um, new. It's 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 really interesting. I mean, it's at the point now where they have maps that have neutral buildings um, at them. Uh, for instance, the neutral sunken colonies in our last game. They have we have maps where um, uh, there's mineral patches on the ramps, so you actually have to mine the minerals before you can get out of your base. It makes for a really interesting game, especially in a game like StarCraft where it's very 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 map intensive. Taking a look at the stats of some of the players. Mind versus Flash. They are actually have never played each other before. This is their very, very first time ever engaging each other. So history is going to be made. They have not really gotten that familiar with each other's play styles. Of course, all these programmers study each other's games before the actual match starts just so that they, you know, can do the best possible job they can to, uh, to get ahead. It's, it's a completely other animal when you actually play against somebody and you can really feel their style. Um, this is actually the youngest ever Star League, or, or Star Leaguer versus the youngest ever league champion. So these guys are young, but they're the best right now, at least in their group. Who knows what will happen when we get to the, to the bracket stages of this. This stage is, I mean, this tournament is still in an infant stage. It's already proven to be very exciting. 
So, what else can I tell you? Let me get some more of the race statistics since it looks like there's actually been a delay. I thought we were going to be starting a little bit sooner. According to um, mine statistics, versus Taryn, he's 12 and 1. 60% win ratio on the map we'll be using, it's 1 and 1. Um, so he really hasn't experienced too much of this map, at least at the, at the professional level, unlike he has with um, many of the other maps. On the other hand, when I take a look at Flash's statistics, I see that he has a 68 win percent ratio. That's pretty impressive. Uh, he's actually 17 and 8 uh, total record. Uh, wow, these guys both have amazing stats. Flash has a more dominant stat um, or percentile, but that doesn't mean the mind can't come back. He's also got he's also got a 3-2 record on that map. Apparently, um, let's see here. In previous games, Flash has been winning against players like Quashin, uh Rock, Rumble, Jadong. Although he's lost the Jadong uh, option as well. But clearly he's been doing well against Terran players. He beat Hawassin twice um, in the MSL. And when I look at mine, he's uh, been beating players. Uh, well, one notable one, especially is Firebat Hero, who I think has excellent Terran versus Terran. Most of the players he's played recently in major tournament events have um, been Protosses and Zergs, like Luxury, for instance, or, or Free. So, I wonder how warmed up they both are for this event. I know they've both been training a lot, because I spoke with them, and they're both taking this event very, very seriously. Neither of the players have joined the game yet. They may both be going over replays, perhaps just trying to get themselves in the zone. There's a lot of different things they could be doing. They could be trying to get their mouse settings right. As I said in one of my previous casts, in a game like StarCraft, it's absolutely important that you are in the perfect state of mind with the exact settings that, are, um, that you use when you're at home. Because otherwise, uh, you may hop on a computer and start playing and be like, whoa, wait a minute, this is not what it, my mouse feels like back at home. Or, wow, this keyboard has keys that are spaced out farther than what I'm used to. Uh, it's like, you know, bringing your own baseball glove to the baseball game. Uh, or, you know, having your own set of golf clubs when you're going out to play golf. This is one of those games where it's actually at that point in time. It's a real sport. Players, when they're done, they're, they're sweating like hell. I mean, the games are intense. Many times when players lose, they break down because uh, the stress level is just so high, so much pressure put on them. Uh, they've trained so hard. And there's going to be a real, it's going to be a big deciding factor um, in this group, depending on the outcome, whether or not we have a three-way tie at the bottom or a two-way tie at the top. Mind has joined. Flash has joined. Both are in there. I assume we're going to be starting soon. Um, I basically have to base what I'm talking about off of, um, well, I just kind of I just kind of ramble until the game starts, so we're still waiting. Still, I think this is going to be a really exciting game. I really can't wait. Mind and Flash, two very young players that are undoubtedly very, very good, but at the same time, um, you know, they have never faced each other, so it's really hard to make a, a, a legitimate prediction, especially in a mirror matchup. We, there will have to be, um, I was just informed, um, there will have to be a tiebreak around if Flash wins this. So... If Mind wins this, um, well, then we'll just have two players who are 2-1. But if Flash wins this, then we'll have one player who's 3-0 and another player who is, um, well, we'll have everybody else will be tied at the bottom. So it will be uh, two people at 2-1 and two people at 1-2 or, um, all right, you get it. But, yeah.
game has started. A splash at the top. So that would be mine at the bottom. Mine is the red Protoss. We're going to see very soon here exactly what the players are going to be opening up with. Will they cheese each other because it's a one-on-one -on -one map? Will they go for an economical build? Will they expand later than we would expect because there's so many minerals and two gas geysers? It could go. It, there's a lot of different ways this could go. Again, very important game here. If Mind wins, we have the top two in the group. If Flash wins, well, then we have a three-way tie at the bottom. Note the positioning of that supply depot. That will allow his units to mine a little bit faster. SCV pathfinding in StarCraft is not always um, it's not always a straight line, which means that sometimes if you put buildings in certain positions, um, and I know you can do this with Warcraft 3, for instance, but uh, you can put your burrows in a certain position so that your uh, peons mine faster. The same thing is true in StarCraft. Only there's uh, actually more uh, things you can do with your buildings to uh, capitalize on certain situations in the game. So everything is very calculated. The position of every single building, especially early on, has been whittled down to a science. One player's already taken his gas. That would be mine. Flash has not yet taken his gas, and I'm a bit curious about this. Because you almost always take your gas immediately. Well, actually, like 90, like 8% of the time, you take your gas like right away in Terran versus Terran. There are very, very few instances where you can not get the gas. So I'm, I'm, a, bit, I'm a bit curious as to what Flash is planning on doing. Another supply depot. Still no gas for the Terran. This is a very curious situation. He's doing something, obviously. Is he going to expand? Is he going to make the command center? He's sending out an SCV, but we don't know what he's doing with it yet. Is he scouting? It's not clear. What is clear is that he's making a lot of Marines. Ah, oh, factory for the, uh, for mine. But Flash is getting a command center. Very interesting. Very interesting. I can only assume that he's going to get a few SCVs to mine out those three mineral patches. Then, once he has the adequate forces, he will lift that command center off and float that to a more saturated location. That's what I would assume, at least. Not a bad build. Factory spotted by Terran. Now, bear in mind, Flash is putting himself in a very vulnerable position by doing this early on. Although that will depend heavily on whether or not Mind can actually scout him, and Mind has not been able to get the SCV inside. So Mind may very well assume that Flash is doing a similar build to what he's been doing. As we can see, Factory finally goes up for Flash. The Factory will be later. That means he's going to be more vulnerable. Now look at that. He's doing a very similar opening. Getting uh, that command center out early on. Whoa, he like went through the barracks. Nice. All right. So both will be kind of expanding early on. Flash will be expanding a bit earlier than mine will. But it doesn't look like mine will be able to punish Flash for expanding earlier on because he got that vulture bike out rather than getting tanks and doing something aggressive. But at the same time, mine doesn't really know how fast Flash expanded, so you can't really blame him. In other words, Flash has more intelligence on his opponent than mine does. We see the vulture bike. Well, it's on the mini map. It's outside the, uh, the Terran base. He's got that vulture out. And he snuck an SCV inside by pushing those Marines back. He's going to scout around. What is he doing? He spots the factories early on. Suddenly realizes that the command center was made a lot earlier than his was. He will now act accordingly. The command center is almost done. Now it's done. Or mine. And another factory is being made, but it's not out yet. The Flash is going to have a mild econ advantage. I would say, you know, normally in StarCraft it makes a huge difference if you get a command center up a little bit earlier. 
but in this case, there's only three mineral patches there. Um, so it's not it's not as big of a deal. It still matters, of course, just like everything matters in StarCraft. It's the most manly game alive. This game will make uh, hair grow on your chest. He's using that vulture as a spotter. He wants to see if his opponent's going to leave anytime soon, and he is. He spotted it. He's backing off. He's upgrading something, either mines, maybe, maybe siege mode, maybe uh, vulture bike speed. Again, both players are very withdrawn right now, massing up, playing it safe. Terran vs. Terran is a lot like chess. It's a lot about positioning your army in specific locations and gaining control of specific areas on the game board. Vulture Bikes realizing they can probably take out that Vulture real fast. Do it and back off. Doesn't look like mines are done yet if that's what he's upgrading. I would assume he is because of the number of Vulture Bikes he's gotten. One upgrade finishes. Is it mines? No, it's bike speed. He's going to need to get that done though soon because mind is closing in. Oh man, and he's surrounding these units. I'm drinking water at all the wrong times. Oh! Unbelievable. Blue manages to take out red with those few vulture bikes. That's very bad for mine, the red Terran. Knowing that the moment is his, he's sending his vulture bikes down, down to the south, where mine's uh, main base is. He's going to send them down there, possibly laying mines. It's not clear. He looks like he has more vulture bikes than mine does, rushing in there. But no, it looks like he might have overextended himself a little bit. It's not clear. He's microing very carefully, but it looks like, uh, oh, it's so close. Three, two. Now, more vulture bikes come out, and that might have been a bit of a waste for mine. Granted, he whittled his opponent's army down to a small size, too. It still, um, it still wasn't as pragmatic as it could have been. Both of these players have excellent micro, or macro, excuse me, massing up a large amount of factories. Really, really impressive. There's going to be some big battles coming up here. I don't think either of them have gotten a starboard yet, which is very interesting. It, um... Well, we won't be seeing drops then for a little bit. Normally, you see starports earlier on to this because they can play such a good role in uh, helping get your siege tanks in the right position or even fighting off certain siege tanks. Now, mine has come around with his own set of vultures. Who's got more? That's very head-to-head -head right now. It's all about, are you targeting the right unit in time? Mine had another vulture come in and resupply that. But it looks like Flash has some more of his own vultures coming in. Mind retreats. Neither player has decided to get his gas geyser earlier on. His second gas geyser, of course. It's all vultures this game. Vultures, vultures, vultures. Tons of vultures now facing each other. Both players. Oh man, it's just so hard to say who's gonna win right now, but it looks like mine is getting uh getting behind. Flash is chasing him down! If Flash can manage to chase him down and pick off the rest of these vulture bikes, it'll be very bad. Now mine is racing and sending some of his own vultures in with this group. Now Flash does his back. It's a macro war where they're just trying to supply each other, they're trying to outdo each other. And wow, Flash came out on top there. Flash proving to be a formidable opponent indeed. Canceling the building he was building there, just so he could get his units behind that. He's got an armory yet. I don't think he's upgrading anything, though. More and more and more units coming down now. Laying a few mines, but uh, vulture bikes and goliaths can attack so fast, you can even shoot the mines down um, as they pop up. Oh! Taking a lot of damage from those mines. Allowing him to run in there with those vulture bikes and pick off the goliaths with one health. Another mine's going off now. So many vultures. This is very, very, very bad for Red, who is mine. 
It looks like Blue is going to close in. He's going to plant a few more mines. Vulture bikes have never been so scary. Rushing in now, planting mines. Excellent micro, picking up a few mines that have already been planted. He's just not sobbing. It's raining vultures. It looks like the Goliaths are now moving in. Picking off these mines in the barracks. But he's got to be very careful. The Goliaths have a very, very fast attack rate. What? Oh, man, this is, this is just a test. Oh, my God. But it's, 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 oh, so close. This is so, this is so intense. He's got to be very, very careful with the Goliath. If any of those um, vultures manage to actually explode on the Goliaths, it would just be painfully bad for mine. Man, good thing I brought a stick of deodorant with me on this, uh, on this job I'm doing, because uh, this game is making me sweat. Carefully moving towards his opponent's base. Meanwhile, Flash is taking this opportunity by um, setting up an expansion and now getting a few tanks, which will have siege mode. He'll use that to defend. And here they come now. Who has the better unit mix? I would argue Flash, but it's very difficult to say. If Flash can get his siege tanks in the right position, but Goliaths are doing so much damage with the tanks in the back. The the, uh, the Goliaths can um, well they can't really get back to the mines being laid. But is his micro good enough? No! He's actually pushed him back even farther. But, oh! One mine has gone off and everything that mine was doing right has all gone wrong! He's now trying to close it again with some more vultures. Spider mines being laid. But he's microing carefully and picking off the mines as they get planted. Flash is way ahead now. Whoa. All right, now Flash may decide to move in again, but Vulture Bikes have been masked up. If Flash leaves his position like he's doing right now, it could be a very good opportunity for mine to close in. Uh, is, is he going to respond in that way? It's not clear. Okay, he suddenly realized what's going on, that his opponent is closing in on him. He's going to plant these mines. Now remember, these Terran units can attack very fast. They can usually shoot down the mines. But if he can surround them and perhaps lay a few mines, he could take out all of these tanks. And Terran is going to micro very, very carefully. Oh! He's getting a lot of units. Mine is forced to retreat. But he already has another army at the south, hoping that perhaps his opponent's been distracted and, will pl and has not yet planted mines there. Remember, vulture bikes do not set off mines, but tanks and goliaths do. So here he comes, at this corner, setting up siege. And he is going to be in range of the command center. Mine will have to do something to that tank in the front if he wants to stay alive. He's taking out the scanner. He's moving in there. Gonna try to lay a few mines around this tank, but to no avail. More command centers for Flash. Flash is in a very good position, taking out one of his opponent's only expansions. Meanwhile, um, doing an excellent job of expanding in other locations. Mind is, is is in a bad position right now. And I think it's a very strong possibility that Flash will go 3-0 in this group. Now he's going to be sending his tanks to here, but there's a minefield waiting for him. If he can manage to pick off all of these mines. No, not all of them. Now, if he does this right, he could just unsiege and just walk over uh, the Red Terran um, if he does it right, though. But no, he has tanks on the way. Coming in at a good angle. Slowly but surely, managing to get his opponent in a very defensive position. And unfortunately, these siege tanks are not quite in range of that command center. Or perhaps they just need vision. Siege tanks can shoot farther than they can actually see. So if you have something to spot for them, 
They'll do a heavy amount of damage. Over a very long range. Armories for both players. Upgrading. You need to get your tank stronger than your opponent's. He might be overstepping his boundaries here. Flash does not have as much of a dominant position on his opponent anymore. But still, Flash has already uh, ahead of an Expos. As we can see on the far left, the Red Terran Mind has an Expo already. He's getting Wraiths now. Not a bad idea. It doesn't look like uh, the Red Terran Mind has any Goliaths. Which means he could pick off the weaker tanks that are in the line. And then close in for the kill. Jeremy's Terran is a lot about having the right unit, mi unit mix to counter what. And because he forces his opponent to get so many uh, tanks, he doesn't really have anything that's anti-air. He probably should have waited until he had a few more raids before he did this because that raid won't be able to do that much damage. He can just repair. As we can see, oh, another expo? Easy. Flash is in, 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 in control of this game. Here's the raid from hell attacking these tanks. Now he does have the plus one, they both have the plus one attack. So their tanks are still equally dangerous now. You have to keep upgrading if you want to stay ahead. It looks like mine um, has now got adequate defense at his expansions, but Flash is still expanding to best. He basically has his opponent contained. He has a siege line in the south down here. Oh, now he's got a Wraith of his own in the action. I'm gonna chase this Wraith back. Nice micro, picking it up. He also has a contain at the north, uh, at the top left. So at this point in time, Mind has to either get drop chips or break the containment. Because as Flash already knows, Flash is now taking another expansion at the bottom right and another expansion um, in the middle right. Look at that. Is he going to move in now? He may be moving in very soon. Nope, just sieging. How anticlimactic. As we can see, it's kind of a no man's land in between these two bases. Terran Command Center there, there. Here we can see the containment at the top left. Not even where near of a, nowhere near as much of a hot zone as the other one. He never actually lifted that command center. Hmm. Here's some siege tanks being snuck over to this location. Meanwhile, mine just so happens, or excuse me, Flash just so happens to be on the other side of that neutral building wall, deciding to pick off buildings so he has more map control. Little does he know that mine is waiting on the other side for him with those siege tanks. Okay, he's going to try to move in now. He's got position over the command center. He's going to have to lift. Mine is getting pushed into a corner, and I don't think he's going to be able to get out of it. More and more siege tanks here. Gonna sneak those siege tanks up there so he can attack a few more here and then move the dropships up. Oh, nope, he's not going to do that. Okay. Unfortunately for Mind, he's had to pull his expansion out. This is really, really bad news for Mind. Flash is completely out of control. He is like King Kong this game, rampaging through New York. Mine is attempting to do something by dropping in, in central locations on the map to gain control there, but no, it does not matter. He has too many pieces. And now he's going to get control of this area, sieging up here. He will be able to hit the STVs, and if he can get this expansion, it will be good game for sure. That means we will more than likely have a three-way tie this game. Mind, at this point in time, unless you can you save it with these dropships, looks like he'll be able to buy some more time with these dropships. But he better come up with something fast. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. He planted a mine there. Looks like he managed to hold it off. Flash overextended himself for a brief second. 
But really, he's allowed to overextend himself a few times because he has so many expansions. He can afford to make mistakes. Mike can. All right. Once again, another expansion at the north. Mine is doing something to try to come back. And who knows? Maybe Flash overextended himself here. Flash has so much of the map, he can't have his defenses everywhere at once. But then again, even if he, uh, even if Mine runs around the map trying to take out all these expos, it's just not. Well, it's just not going to be enough, I think. Here's some more dropships coming in here. Mind may get control of this top left expansion. Flash is attempting to respond by sending some of his own tanks. Until then, he will more than likely lose his command center. Now, again, this is... This is pretty much Mine's last expansion, unless Mine can get this expansion on the top left. He's just so far behind. Now he's unloading. Onto these siege tanks over here. He might be able to reclaim this expansion at the bottom. Mine is putting up a great fight. A lesser Terran would have died by now. And here it comes. He's gonna be he might be able to intercept these dropships. Mine's dropships have been spotted, and the interesting question will be, well, how will Flash respond? Will he be able to save this expansion? Planting some mines here. You can't unload and we're near the mines. Mine completely, uh, well, he, he gives up on even bothering with that expansion. And instead, um, oh, oh, no, he's not going to go there either. It looks like Flash is just everywhere right now. Mine is just looking for some place he can go and deal some damage. And it looks like it's going to be at the most useless expansion that he could have possibly done any damage to. The one that has like four SCVs mining from it. A rather unfortunate position for mine. Mine is going to get that expansion at the bottom right. He's really never been able to have that many expansions for that long though. Once he gets one up, Flash takes out another one. I wish I could see the food count right now. I'm really curious to see how much ahead, how much more ahead Flash is uh, from mine. Here comes Flash's units up at the north. It may not be enough. Well, excuse me, Mind may not have enough, and he does not, and GG. Flash is 3 0 Oh, man. This means we're going to have to have a tiebreaker around here. Flash owned it up. He has dominated his entire group. Clearly the best player today. Flash is a hero. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be back with some more games very soon.